Hi food friends, it's Kevin. And I'm Ralph behind the camera. And here we are, we're actually in Ralph's kitchen today. And we are going to do a pork roast three way. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to um, cook a pork shoulder roast and we're going to use it for three different things. Um, we're going to do a barbecue, pulled pork, we make sandwiches out of that. Then we're going to mix it up a little bit and make a uh, pork tacos. And then we're going to have roast pork. So three things out of one uh, piece of, big piece of meat, okay? Wow, that's a Sunday pork roast that uh, has some diversity. And you could just do it for one thing if you wanted to, but I think we thought we'd show sort of the versatility of, of pork, of a pork roast, which we love, by the way. What's so, this you have here, a rub? This is a spice rub that we're going to... Homemade, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you know what we've got in here. I've been... I've left the meat out. The meat's been out for about 45 minutes. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? So we got this just this morning from the butcher. You'll see it's tied. Okay, all ready. Now, sometimes it doesn't come tied. It's easy enough to do. I'm going to leave this butcher paper out. And we're going to give it a good rub down with this. Before I do that, though, let me... Uh, our oil going here. So, we made up a little spice rub just for the pork. It starts with kosher salt, um, and then we also add to it uh, black pepper, um, white pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, what else do I have? Smoked in here? paprika, I believe smoke, you said. Yes, smoke, and you can smell that smoked paprika. Uh, I've also got some brown sugar, chili powder, cumin, thyme, um, and I think that's about everything. Oh, but it makes a good rub because I can see how gritty it is and how delicious it smells. So, and this is, we'll have the recipe for the rub up on the uh, website on Cavalcade Food. So see how handy this butcher paper comes in? Yeah. Gonna get this all rolled in here, and then all we have to do is throw the paper away. All right. So I'm gonna wash my hands, and then over on the stove we've got a uh, skillet with just a little vegetable oil coming up to temperature here. Just enough to coat the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's all. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put our roast in there because we just want to give it a sear help to kind of get a little crust on it. Let's get our, our roast over here and in our pan. Okay, you hear that sizzle? That's what we want. That means it's starting um, to put a nice brown crust on there. So what I'm going to do is, we'll come back. I'm just going to keep rotating this roast until it's sort of browned um, on all sides. And then we'll get it uh, in our baking dish and in the oven for a nice slow roast. So here we are, Comfort Kitchen. We're making three-way pork roast on this uh, Sunday afternoon. Cavalcade of food coming right back at you. See you in a bit. So here we do. We've got a nice browning uh, all the way around and on both ends. So all the sides and the ends get browned. Yep. Good with our spice rub. Now, we're gonna move this over here to the table. And we've got, I'm gonna put in our baking dish. So this little doodad here is our makeshift, um, basically, uh, rack. Like a roaster rack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I didn't you, have one. You didn't have one. So, so Kevin you know made it out of tin foil cause so he's the MacGyver of the kitchen. So <laughs> we just made one, put our roast on it, okay. And the point is just to kind of keep it off it keep, of... It, yeah, and it allows the fat to kind of drip down, okay? Gotcha. Um, and so that's really what a rack does. Um, now, I've preheated the oven to 325 degrees. We are going to put some foil over this. Shiny side down. Okay, so 
you get the oven. In we go. So 325. We'll check it after about an hour and a half or so. And then when that's done, we'll come out and then we'll look at the different ways that we can take the pork roast and use it for different dishes. Again, we're going to try a barbecue pulled pork. We're going to make some great pork tacos. And then we're just going to have some really nice, tender, juicy roast pork. So it's a three-way pork sundae. There you go. You said it just right, Alfie. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to clean up and listen to a little more of... Uh, Booker T and the MGs. Booker T and the MGs. Okay, so see you in a bit. The house smells incredible. And here we go. Actually, I think I'm just going to set it right here. I'm going to let this... Let some of the steam escape. There it is. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pork. And look at all that wonderful liquid. Yeah. That's down there. That looks yummy. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to let that kind of cool off for a while. And then we'll start taking it apart. But... You're going to leave parts of it, though, uh, for slicing? For slicing. See, our wonderful uh, drippings here will help make a wonderful pork gravy mm. for our roast pork and then we're going to save part of it for shredding mm -hmm. and that will be our pulled pork sandwiches and our pork tacos so we're just chopping up some things here for our um, pork tacos our pork tacos for the topping and so we've got some tomato some onion some fresh jalapeno and we've got a little cilantro here that we're just gonna chop that, give this a really rough chop. And that way, when we put our tacos together, we can just put on our little additions here. Sort of fun to put them all on a plate. And then, you know, some people don't like cilantro, so they don't have to have it. And some people like a lot of tomato. So everybody takes what they need and uses what they want for yeah. their tacos. And then, you know what, we're gonna, I always like to give my stuff a little rinse, but thank you. We're going to put a couple of wedges of lime and, oh, this is a nice, beautiful lime. I think it was only uh, 60 some cents. So we'll put some lime on there. You can save that. and. How about some nice for crispness? Yeah, chop yeah. up some lettuce or you can shred it in a um, grater. Um, but since we've already got the chopping stuff out, we can... We don't need that much. No, we don't need a lot. But it's nice to, like you said, to have it all ready to put onto the pork tacos. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be seasoned the way Kevin's rub was and, you know, flavored with all the fat that rendered down. But if you wanted to make it even more... Mm, sort of uh, hot or Mexican style you could season the pork okay. separately with more cumin and more chili powder or chili peppers so we're gonna put this on the side so this will be for our tacos uh, we're gonna finish uh, still letting that pork roast cool a little bit there on the table but we're gonna come back and we're gonna start uh, putting together our gravy for our roast pork and um, getting our sauce ready for our barbecue pulled pork. Be right back. Okay, we're going to make a little bit of um, gravy for this roast pork. So you can see the, the fat has separated and risen to the top. What I'm going to actually do is we're going to use some of this wonderful pure pork fat. Pork fat. The flavor is incredible. Now, yeah, you could use butter here or some other fat if you wanted to. But, man, I'm telling you. Nothing beats it. This is the... Okay. I put a little garlic in there as well, okay? Um, so, I'm going to now mix in some flour. 
to this. Oh, let me turn it down. So about equal amounts flour to um, fat. And we're going to get it in here. Really want that flour to cook. Nothing worse than a, that kind of that that floury taste. You mean where you taste it and it's still kind of dry and floury? Yeah. It's got a nice color to it. Yeah, and of course, like all roux, you know, it will it will darken as it goes. But so the the flour and the fat are kind of bonding here. And like I said, we're going to keep stirring. Okay. Turn this down. Okay. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, you can smell the... The garlic? The garlic and the um, porkness of okay. it. Okay. Now we're going to put in the rest of our pan drippings here. bring this up, stirring as we go. And you can see what's happening already. Look at that rich. It's thickening pretty thick. quickly. Sure is. Okay, so there's our gravy or sauce. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to thin that out with a little chicken broth even because we could even add a little bit more liquid to that. Yeah, and then we're gonna have our uh, have our sauce ready or our gravy ready for our roast pork. We got tacos to make. We got pulled pork barbecue. It's all coming together. We're doing roast pork three, three ways. ways. In okay, the comfort kitchen. Be back in a minute. I'm just removing the the kitchen twine here that that the butcher put yeah, on. Yeah, the butcher put on because we definitely. That's one part we don't want to eat. So what we're going to do first, boy that's beautiful. So this roast has rested now for oh probably 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to just make some nice, look at that. Look at how moist that is. We're going to just make some really thin slices here. This is going to be for our roast pork. With the gravy? With the gravy. You can't resist eating a little bit, can we? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. It's got to be one of my favorite meats is pork. And actually, while there was some, there was some fat on this pork, a lot of it has been Reduced. really rendered off and there it is so we're going to continue you could cut this as thick or as thin as you like great sandwiches too by the way uh the next day see that juice yeah that'd be good with a little horseradish on a sandwich oh my god would it ever so kind of how okay. so there's our roast pork so we're going to take a few slices here of this roast pork. I would say that's probably, there's a nice piece. Okay, then we're going to come over here. And you can see we've made our delicious gravy out of the drippings as well as the um, we added some chicken stock to it as well. Mmm. There you go. That is plate that? Okay. Yeah. So plate number one. Roast pork. Okay, so here's what we've got. This is all the pork. This pork Ralph and I just pulled apart uh, with our fingers. And then this is sliced pork. Um and so again that's for either sandwiches or a roast pork dinner we're going to do a couple things with this pork so let's take some over here 
Now what I did is I've got just a little barbecue sauce here and I've warmed it up and look at this. This is just how we're going to roll this. We're going to put some of this pork in here and we're going to mix the pork into that wonderful barbecue sauce. Make your own. Use uh, your favorite brand, which is what I do. And as you heat it, it kind of helps it to all kind of bind together. Yeah, kind of help it kind of really stick to the meat. So you're really just re kind of reheating that meat through and getting getting the sauce to uh -huh. stick to it, kind of giving it an opportunity to let its chemistry work. Yep. Um, and you just put it right onto your yeah. How good does that look? Into your bread. So we got a couple of buns here. When I lived in West Virginia, we used to love to eat it with coleslaw on top. Oh my God! Yes. So you can do it. Uh, you know, modify it to your own taste, your own liking, and um, you know there are different ways to do the pork three-way. But I think we're getting the idea of it. So, and then of course here's our beautiful, just sliced ro roast pork from before. So we've got our barbecue pork sandwiches, our roast pork. Then we come over here and. We've heated up a couple of uh, corn tortillas. Yep. And we've got some salsa and some of the fixings. So again, we take a little of our pork here. Okay, make a couple little soft pork tacos. And we're going to, let's see, what should we put on this, Ralph? Um, tomato, of course. Yeah, put some tomato on that one. And squeeze a little lime. Uh, I know you like cilantro. I do. Um, some onion. A little chopped onion. Oh, just a little. Just a little goes a long way. Oh, jalapeno. Oh, yeah, just a touch of that. Because I'm a mild Mexican. That's right. And um, squeeze a little lime juice How on there. How about lettuce? Oh, right. This would give a little crunch. Doesn't that look good? And then we're going to take a little lime. And you could have yourself a little make your own. Oh. And then salsa, of course. Just you put a little bit on uh, one end, yeah, because I'm not sure if I want. Okay. There's a lot of good stuff on there. There it is. So, okay. let's uh, <laughs> here. Let's show all three ways. All three. Here we go. One sliced roast pork with pork gravy, barbecue pork sandwiches, and wonderful Yummy pork, pork tacos. tacos. So. We've got it there going you go. on. So, you know what? You see a nice pork shoulder or pork uh, butt roast on sale. Pick it up. You have so many things you can do with it. It's really versatile. So, roast pork done three ways on this cavalcade of food. Thank you, Julie London. <laughs> yeah, the ventures. We had uh, all kinds of great music great in the background. Great music today, Ralph, and thank you. And thanks to all of you who are watching it and for being a part of this one. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye now.